just got out of the truck. It's a wet one out here at Charlotte. So first weekend of the winter heat. We got my man Dean over here. Come on, Dean, get in the camera. Say hey to the camera. Nice Charlotte weather here, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Better than home back home, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go uh, stand in the long line uh, and get our armbands, get all checked in. They're gonna pat us down, make sure we're not carrying anything sharp or uh, lead weighted. We'll get to race in action. So it's been a long time. We've been busting our tails for a couple months now, getting cars ready for the winter heat. And uh, we're here now. Hopefully the rain stays away so we can get Bando action in a day. Legend cars will run regardless. It'll be a fun day. Day one out here winter heat. And uh, we'll be back at it in the morning. So let's get to it. <laughs> We've moved a little further. All right, so first up is Lucas and Izzy. Their first two runs in the Legend car. It's a little wet right now, so the track's in the process of driving. They're drying already without even making a lap on the track. So we're thinking maybe one round of practice uh, for them on their rain tires. And then by the time our semi-pros will go out, it'll be dry enough to put the race tires on. We're optimistic on the day, getting it all in. It's gonna be a crazy schedule, so enjoy the ride. First run. Yeah, that's my first run in the legend car. And it felt really good. Uh, a little slick and I like it like that. And a lot of spins and stuff, but we didn't spin out and we just kept it straight. So we're looking forward to pick up some more speed for uh, the next practice and see how it goes after that. Cool deal. Yeah. Oh, the pedal, like the pedal's very heavy. Like I don't know what you guys mean about like no throttle control because I can roll the throttle plenty. I got plenty of movement. Was you just feeling like it, you were having to turn as if it was tied? I know it's hard to tell in the rain, but no, I'm, I really, felt, I felt nice and loose. Was just I thought I don't know. Normally in the rain, I feel like it'll roll good. It yeah. was almost like I had a jack. It would still catch by the end of the turn, but it's almost okay. like I would take the turn soon, and then by the time I got to the grass, it was finally turning. I'm like, well, yeah. But Shannon said I was pretty fast, so I'm like, yeah. Even if it does rain, it's nothing I'd probably want to change. Cool deal. Making adjustments? Yeah. Making your own adjustments? Yeah, well, hopefully it's a little faster, I hope. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Qualifying up next. Camera crew's here. Yeah. Paparazzi. <laughs> Thing on the track, and you, you'll be good. You know. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just trying. Uh, easy on the brakes, but if you're on the brake when you enter the corner, it's not going to turn. So you know, you on the gas, off the brake, let it roll, and then back on the gas. And, Easier uh, said than done, right? Yeah. But you know, do the best you can. Play things, have a good time. Oh, That's I'm what it's all about. Good deal. All right. Talking trash, you don't want to see this. How do you feel? I mean, we're complaining about it being tight. The car feels was fine to me. I was just, I was running behind him, getting getting a handle on my bearing, keeping the car in check. Because I feel like the brake pedal is significantly closer than it was before because you know it's not broken anymore. So I'm getting used to what actual brakes feel like. Maybe because you grew a lot and got fatter, and that's why I'm more closer to you. <laughs> With the CO9, you gotta drive in deeper. So you can't back the corner like 1250. 1250 has some straightaway speed, and you get the motor and slow the car down. So you drive in like another two car lengths deeper. You almost drive it into the corner like you're gonna blow past it, and then hit the brake just a little bit to help get the car planted. And then let the, when you let the car roll in the center, you let it roll past center. And as soon as you get past center, you almost turn it and get the car repointed, and then you stand on it and pull it off the corner. But you don't just like that foot nice smooth all the way to the gas and commit it and you drive it up the race track. Alright, yeah. I've got to read a little all this stuff. It's oh, right. very, very different. We ran, we ran a six like a, a 1760 and it was it was when you got your momentum going, you're coming through traffic and you're running it's a lap the uh Jake and the uh the 25 car swapped spot that lap and you ran up on the that lap. And then you had to check 
back up to the 25 car in turn one, and then you thunderfoot it on the last lap to the check the flight. But every other lap yeah. was freaking spot on. So every every time you're going up, you're getting faster, and the tires are coming in, they're getting better. So it's like, I mean, trying. Yeah, so you and Cole have a good starting spot, so you two should be able to match up. Where are we starting? I think you're start with we're in the second heat. Third heat, where'd you finish? Third, fourth. So, mid pack, I think. Probably gonna be around 10th or 11th, yeah, you maybe. You pass like three cars, so instead of starting like last, you're gonna be right in the 12th or 13th range, I think. That's better, that's that's better. A whole lot better than where we started. <laughs> More laps, every lap. Watch out. Alright, so, getting ready to qualify. Everybody's looked so good so far on the legend side. Bandos still have not hit the track yet, uh, but Lucas has picked up every time he's hit the track. And Izzy has looked a lot better uh, from her first run, so she picked up a little bit. Of course, Garrett, Cole, Justice, and Dason are getting it done. All look like solid top 10 cars by the time the track gets dry. And then we've got our <laughs> uh, monkey in and Aiden but uh got qualifying for them coming up and they're gonna be pretty quick hopefully top 10 runs it look like they're gonna be pretty fast and then uh, of course we've got the we got Logan uh, in semi pro as well so be interesting to see all right so me and Cliff are coming back from qualifying which uh didn't turn out as planned the track started drying right in the middle of the semi pro group so yeah, not Garrett good. Garrett and Cole and Justice were looking pretty solid. And then uh, when Dason come out, Dason run a good lap there at the end. But, it was, but that was about when he figured out where he needed to be at. So um, then the track got really dry. So then we dropped like a rock. So yeah, things are going to change now. Yeah, now yeah. we got we to go to the front. Yep, so we're going to wait to the front. Not good. There. Yeah. So we can do it. What time is qualifying? Not long. Not long. Huh? It's I take pictures already after them before. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta worry about the race. Yeah. You think Lucas is gonna make it through today? <laughs> Lucas is gonna win today? Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright. Yeah. More confidence than his sister. <laughs> yeah, that's his sister. <laughs> Captain America, that's your nickname. Captain America. <laughs> All right, they're calling bandos. What's going on, Josh? Nothing much, just waiting until uh, Crash is spoke for the, uh, the Atlas, uh, Bandos. Time for a little bit of practice and race time tonight, right? We'll go for the win? Yes, sir. All right. So, spotter vision is on as uh, I'm walking back over to the stand so I can spot for Josh uh, as he goes out, uh, Captain America. So, um, yeah, my hair looks see <laughs> right? Looks beautiful. So, uh, bandits are hitting the track for the first time today and uh, it'll be exciting. Uh, they've been waiting to go out. Uh, the anticipation can be cut 
with a knife. Has to be cut with a steak knife because it's so thick right now and uh, we're all ready to go. So ready to unwrap the bandos for 2020. And nice video bomb there by Mr. West. I've always wanted to be on one of your podcasts, man. I've never been in one. Thank hey, you. You're you in one now. <laughs> Uh, all right so i know the backlight's pretty bad but we are uh on our way back over to the hot grid young lions are getting ready for their feature a bando first round of practice will really good uh make a few little changes to them we'll be back at it out there but lucas and izzy hit the track now for 20 laps so see how this goes all right how was your uh day first day in the legend car racing how was it I liked it. It was a lot. It was different than my other car, so I had to get used to it. Starting to asphalt, right? Yeah. What about you, Lucas? Well, we showed uh, pretty good heat racing and qualifying effort, but uh, we finished sixth overall, which I'm really proud of. At least we finished and got a top five. So, yeah, made a couple of mistakes there, but there's definitely a lot more to learn there. And hopefully, right. we can uh, do better tomorrow. All right, Lucas, you need to learn to count. Six is higher than five. Yeah, you got a top ten. Yeah, top ten. He said top five. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Could have been top five. Hey, man, the important thing is we're, we're ready to race for tomorrow. Yeah. Try to make a lot of changes. comments what was that like awful <laughs> awful they right. changed everything when did they not let you choose and then at the end of the did we even do all the laps he said we had yeah. 10 to go you ran 25 did we? yeah it didn't feel like it. A... he said 10 to go over the radio and then we had one more caution like two laps later and then we're single file yeah and i'm like dude i just didn't stand a fighting chance oh well hey you're Five fourth more. for a while hey How was your first day? Oh, it was great. I loved it. It felt great. Uh, definitely, definitely going to be something to get used to. That was two. But, uh, I mean, it's only one piece. I met my goal. Hey, that's good. You check and make sure everything's intact, Garrett? Yeah, it's a little bit. Dude, that's 23rd to 7th, man. Maybe that's what I... Little... Maybe that's what I felt in the steering. Probably. A little worse for wear. Grill got punted pretty good. Yeah. That last restart, man, they all jammed up. Yeah, Justice got, I don't know, he didn't check up that bad, but the cars behind me, I got pile drove, and then the car behind him hit me. It was just. It's all accordion mess. right yeah. there in the front, so not too bad. But we survived. It's in one piece. We can come back tomorrow. For the most part, <laughs> we can come back tomorrow and try to win again. <laughs> all right. Really? Yeah. Well, you finished sixth. I know. Well, we made up six spots, but <laughs> dude, it was a freaking demolition derby. <laughs> dude, the last lap, everybody, dude, we were all underneath each other. Ashton Winder's hood flying off, Jake's fenders flying in my face. <laughs> I'm going down the back turn, like, oh god, talking debris that entire race. <laughs> dude, when, when they wreck behind me, who, who was in the other like pink 21 car or something like that? Who's the other Honeycut car that looks like Jaden's? I look behind me in my rear view and I just see, boom, cut it. Dude, my heart left my body. I thought I was about to be looking at the wall. I was like, oh, oh my God. That's one life. All right, so you ready to race some more then? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> ready. All right, so it's raining right now. So the race is uh, probably going to be canceled for bandos. Uh, so Saturday ends in a washout for Bandolero Racing, and they'll probably run a double on tomorrow. So we'll be back out here, doubles probably for the Bandos, and uh, Legend Cars will have another feature event. So uh, awesome time out here today, and uh, I think everybody was excited to finally get back out on the racetrack after a few months off. And uh, winter heat, gotta love it. Uh, Ever-changing weather, and uh, hey, it's North Carolina, so you never know what you're gonna get. Really? Yeah. It'll say it's got my. How many people can we fit in the trailer, Trent? Um, my calculations are right. I think 80 people can fit for us. Josh, you just walk around with your helmet on for protection? Huh? Is that for protection? Yeah.
It's dangerous walking around here. Listen, then we we'll get ready to, and then this happened. So I know. Okay. The skies opened up. All right, guys. Jordan signing out here from the Stowe Racing Adventures, or whatever we're calling this. And uh, make sure you guys like. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you're new to our channel, subscribe and bang that bell off the chip for any notifications so you can get updates for all of our brand new videos right here on YouTube. So catch you guys next time. Hit the title sequence.